Hey guys, Jen Engel here with a time to stamp video featuring Viva Las Vegas stamps. I'm starting starting out on a piece of, um, or a canvas panel rather. Um, it's about five by seven and I'm just gonna use some collage page mat and collage some vintage papers in the background. I have vintage ledger papers and um, different kinds of um, vintage ephemera that I'm just sticking in there. And then once that's completely dry, I'm going to add a little bit of the Dina Wakely White acrylic paint and a little bit of Golden um, Titan Buff, which is a really nice like um, tan color. And mine has a hole in it, so it's like a little globby. <laughs> so I just sprayed a little bit of water on my piece just to make that globby paint more movable. And I'm just going to blend those two colors together until I'm happy and I'm um, trying to keep some of that um, paper so that you can see it through the background or through the paint rather. And then once that's dry, I'm going to coat my entire piece with a layer of encaustic wax. This is beeswax encaustic medium by R&F and um, I'm just using a regular paintbrush and a mini crock pot that I heat up the little beeswax pellets in to let them melt and then um, I'm just going to coat my paper and then I just use my regular heat gun to um, fuse the um, the um, the beeswax together you're supposed to like fuse it between each layer with by melting it with the heat gun I really honestly guys don't know what I'm doing with it caustic I'm just trying to learn as I go or teach myself I should say so um yeah just as long as I'm keeping it inexpensive which is why I use the crock pot and the paintbrush that I have and the heat gun that I had I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of new supplies so I'm um, back to my piece I just stamped a few Viva Las Vegas stamps out on some cheapy tissue paper I have flock of geese and wire birdcage and I'm using tissue paper because once you apply the wax on them um they like completely disappear so it looks like somehow you embedded the stamp in the layers of wax and it looks really cool so i'm just going to lay out my composition um, until i'm happy with the way it looks and again i really don't know what i'm doing so i, I don't know if there's a better way to um, stick down um, these kind of like tissue paper pieces that i want to use but i just used the layer of my collage post mat to stick them down and then I'm just going to put wax on top of it. Um, so far it's held up. So, I mean, I can't speak for longevity. It's only been a couple weeks since I made it. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to make sure I have a pretty, pretty thin, thin layer um, underneath and on top of my um, pieces there. And then I'm going to let that air dry because I don't want to hit it with the heat gun because I don't want the it to melt into the wax. And then I'm going to put another layer of wax on top of my pieces. And then I thought I'd better go over the whole thing so that it looks even and not like splotchy. And then I'm going to fuse it again with my heat tool. This is just a regular embossing tool. And honestly, it gets hot enough that it melts the wax. Um, I didn't need to buy one of those expensive like um, heat gun things. So then I wanted to make some marks in my wax. So I have this ghost uh, spinny wheel thing. It's from like one of those pumpkin carving kits you get at Halloween time. And then I also have just like an old plastic washi tape tube and a paint lid. And I'm also going to scratch some marks in with my pokey tool and mind you the the wax is not completely hard but it's not completely soft either it's like a little pliable so you do have to be like a little careful about how um, hard you press the things into it or if you wait too long you won't get an impression at all so then i'm going to take some raw umber golden uh, heavy body and I'm going to put that on my piece and then I'm going to add some water so that the paint really gets into those cracks. I found out or learned or read that you're not supposed to put acrylic on top of encaustic. You're supposed to put oil because acrylic uh, beeswax doesn't mix. But honestly, they're in the cracks and crevices. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I did put a layer of wax on top, so I'm hoping it's going to be fine. But... 
you know, I'll keep you posted if it, if it doesn't turn out fine. <laughs> That's how we learn, right? By doing. So I'm just going to wipe that back. I let it sit for a little bit and um, I was pretty happy with the way that looked, but I thought it needed something else. So I grabbed one of these chipboard um, word words, chipboard words from Umwow Studio. I'm just going to melt the wax ever so slightly and then press the word into that wax. I didn't melt it so much that it like the wax squished out, but just enough so it kind of held it there. And then I'm just gonna use my paintbrush to really work that wax in there so that it really encases that word because it is a chipboard piece, so it is quite dimensional. But I didn't want it to look like globby and like uneven. So as it's drying, I'm taking a palette knife and I'm just kind of scraping some of that extra wax away so that it looks a little more um, flat and not bumpy and I'm really gonna try to get in all those cracks and crevices with my palette knife to just smooth out that wax and then that wax does not get wasted oh no that goes right back in the pot to melt <laughs> so then I'm just gonna fuse it again with my heat tool completely melt that wax and I have to say I was pretty happy with the way it turned out oh um I melted it to see how it would look um, if I took enough of that wax away and I wanted to take back a little more so I'm just going in a second time with my palette knife to remove some of that excess wax and then I'm pretty happy with how it looks so that's it for my piece today my encaustic piece really love the way it turns out or turned out I love the Viva Las Vegas stamps because they're so versatile I mean you can make a whole bunch of these kind of stamped encased pieces and um, each one could look different using depending on the stamps that you used so um, links to all the stamps I used will be in the blog post if you're watching from YouTube the blog will be linked in the description box down below if you're watching from the um, the blog it's up at the top and down at the bottom of the blog post and yeah here's some other videos and thank you so much for watching bye bye guys